All right, guys, today we are talking PlayStation 5 box art because Sony decided randomly yesterday to reveal it to us, and it seems that it made some pretty significant waves across the internet. In fact, it seems that it actually garnered more social media interest than the next-gen Xbox games showcase reveal from Microsoft, at least them announcing it, which I find very interesting, and I think it's very telling and so we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're also taking a few minutes to talk about Infamous and how apparently the domain name uh, has been renewed. And this has been kind of making people think that, oh, does this mean we can expect to see maybe a new Infamous game from Sucker Punch on PlayStation 5? And I do find the timing of this interesting because we just recently talked about how Sucker Punch is currently hiring for some new talent to bring on for their first PlayStation 5 game. And maybe there is a correlation here. And finally, we're going to talk a little bit about Sony apparently investing $250 million into Epic Games, deepening their partnership, which is pretty significant, has some pretty big long-term implications potentially. But the thing that a lot of people seem to be focusing on now because of this is that this is apparently proof that uh, Tim Sweeney and other individuals at Epic Games, they were clearly paid to say the things that they said about the PS5, but Tim Sweeney actually came out here and cleared this up and kind of shut down that talk because it's just simply not true. Everything they had to say about the PS5 has been genuine and there's really just been nothing else behind it. So this is what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. If you could do me a favor, make sure you hit the like button to show your support and help the video out. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you are notified immediately anytime a new video goes live. So as I said yesterday, Sony revealed the official PlayStation 5 box art showing off Spider-Man Miles Morales because that's going to be launching alongside the PS5. And just to give my thoughts on it, I think it looks really good. I like the fact that it looks different enough to where you can very easily tell, yes, that's a PlayStation 5 game. There's no mistaking it for a PlayStation 4 game or anything else. I like the fact that they went with the white and black up top, but the big conversation seems to be surrounding the transparent blue border of the actual game case. And it's understandable because it's pretty much identical to what we currently see with the PS4. And I've seen a lot of people showing mock-ups and renders of what the game case would look like if it was solid black around the border or white. And I have to admit that does look pretty cool as well. However, I think it just makes complete sense that Sony would go with the blue because that's synonymous with PlayStation. It's part of their branding at this point. If you look at their uh, marketing, their YouTube channel, just anything PlayStation related in general, it's all about the blue. So, you know, even looking at the PlayStation 5 console, it has the blue light still. It just makes complete sense that they would want to continue that with the PlayStation 5 box art to some extent. So I personally really do like it. And I can't wait to start my physical PS5 game collection. And maybe this is why people were so excited about this. Maybe this is an indication that physical media is still pretty relevant, at least when it comes to PlayStation. So, you know, talking and, you know, make sure you let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think about the box art? What do you think about it? And uh, this is where we have to talk about the social media engagement on the Internet for this box art reveal. Because it says here, yesterday's announcement from Sony regarding the PlayStation 5 box art has been drumming up considerable interest on Twitter. In fact, it's currently beating Microsoft's announcement regarding the next-gen Xbox game showcase. At the time of this writing, the official Sony Twitter post for the PS5 box art has amassed over 26,000 retweets and about 105,000 likes. By comparison, Microsoft's next-gen Xbox game showcase announcement has 18,000 retweets and about 51,000 likes. And I believe that that announcement went live on July 6th, if I'm not mistaken. And so this is a pretty important thing to highlight and pay attention to because not only, in my opinion, does this clearly show just the difference in levels of excitement and hype for each next-gen console, but it really also, more importantly, just goes to show how absolutely critical it is that Microsoft just knocks this show out of the park because they, honestly, they really need to just, they need to blow people away, man. They need to surpass expectations and just come out swinging in a way that if they want to compete at the same level here with PlayStation, they need to. They need to have these big jaw-dropping announcements that people just didn't see coming. 
And anybody who's been paying attention to what I've been saying about this upcoming event, because I know inevitably there's going to be some people who are thinking that I'm just trying to be negative towards Xbox or downplay them or whatever. Anybody who's been listening to what I've been saying, you'll know that I'm pretty optimistic about this upcoming Xbox event. I think there actually is a reason to be excited, frankly, because Microsoft doesn't have much of a choice. This is their big moment where they have to show up. They have to meet people's expectations. And if they don't, it's going to be bad news for them. And so does this mean that I think they could automatically compete on the same level as Sony? No, but I think that this could go a long way in kind of closing that gap. Because right now, as you can tell by this social media engagement, and you've been able to tell by the social media engagement all this year, there's a pretty wide gap there. And I mean, you look at this and it says it all, man. It really does. I mean, you're talking about a next-gen game case reveal on Twitter outdoing the reveal of Microsoft's next-gen showcase right now. Am I saying that this game case reveal from Sony is going to surpass the numbers that this actual event is going to amount to? No, I don't think so. I think it's safe to say that when they do have this event, there will be more engagement around it as there should be. It's their big game showcase event. If not, that would be a real problem. But it just, again, I have to highlight this because it just goes to show there is a reason. And I know people are going to say this. People are going to say, oh, well, you know, Sony has more followers and PlayStation has more followers. And of course, they're going to get more retweets and more likes. And to that, I say, why do you think that is? Do you think they just got lucky or do you think that maybe there's actually a reason for that? So, yeah, just had to take some time to point that out. I find it very interesting. But talking about Infamous here, Sucker Punch recently renewed the domain InfamousTheGame.com, sparking fresh hope for a return to the superhero series. The developer has been beavering away on Ghost of Tsushima for a large part of the generation, which is finally slated to release next week. However, the Infamous franchise has a small but faithful fan base, and many of its most vocal followers are clamoring for a return. A domain name renewal is not evidence of anything, however, and the studio will probably be waiting to see how its feudal open world uh, open world game fares before it commits to any potential PlayStation 5 project. So basically what that's saying is that, yes, we are seeing a renewal of the, do the domain name here, but this is not at all an indicator that we're getting a new Infamous game, and they're pointing out here that more than likely Sucker Punch and Sony are going to wait to see how Ghost of Tsushima performs before they decide or nail down what their next project is. However, we could be off the mark here. For all we know, this is part of the plan where they've already decided, like, look, we want to return to Infamous after this. And if Ghost of Tsushima is a huge success and it, it's possible that it, there could be a second one or some type of sequel based in that universe, we'll, you know, we'll get to it after we release a new Infamous. I know that there's a lot of people I see that would love to see a new Infamous game. I mean, it says here that the fan base is pretty small. I can't speak to that. I did play Infamous Second Son. I did really enjoy it. So I would be all for seeing them return to Infamous for the PlayStation 5. But again, we do have to highlight the fact that Sucker Punch is in the process of hiring new staff and new developers for whatever it is they're going to be working on next on the PlayStation 5. So maybe it's going to be Infamous. But finishing up this video here, we're talking about this investment that Sony made. Sony has invested a staggering $250 million into Epic Games, which is a minority stake in the company and will help to deepen the partnership between the two companies. Revealed by VentureBeat, the deal apparently cements the close relationship between the two companies and reinforces the shared goal to advance the state of the art in technology, entertainment, and socially connected online services. So yeah, the important thing you need to understand about this investment is that it definitely has some long-term implications. I don't necessarily know that it's worth sitting here and speculating about what they could be because we just don't know. But because of this, a lot of people are immediately pointing to the fact that, ha, huh, this is proof that all of Tim Sweeney's comments and all of the comments we've gotten from Epic Games about the PS5 were clearly paid for. But Tim Sweeney has come out and actually confirmed that that's not the case. Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney has revealed that serious investment discussions with format holder Sony only happened following the premiere of the PS5 Unreal Engine 5 tech demo. Sweeney made the comments after it was suggested that his previous chatter about the PS5 was influenced by the deal, which apparently was not the case. And so this was actually a Twitter exchange where somebody was like pointing out, look, like, look at this 
deal that you just struck with Sony here. Look, they're investing in you. So it's very clear that we can't take your comments about the PS5 seriously. And he's like, nah, man, like that didn't actually happen until after like this deal didn't happen until after that demo was revealed. And, you know, clearly it Sony was happy with everything that went down and the way it went down. So I thought that this was just important to highlight because I've seen a lot of people kind of running with this. And it seems pretty clear to me that, and this is just my opinion, Tim Sweeney and Epic Games, they are in a position where they do not need to be shilling for anybody. Like, they don't need to be blowing smoke for anybody. They are in a position where if they're going to say something positive about something, it's probably because they actually like it. And considering we've had literal engineers from Epic talking about this console, and it's not just Epic Games we've been hearing this from. We've been hearing a lot of positive talk about the PS5 all across the industry. So it's not like it's just Epic Games. I think it's safe to say that most of what they're saying, if not all of it, is pretty genuine, especially when you consider the fact that they actually went back and altered Unreal Engine 5 to accommodate the PlayStation 5's SSD and IO throughput tech because they realized that, yeah, this is the future of game development and we need to uh, we need to develop our engine around that. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it or found it informative. If you did, again, be sure to leave the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.